Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV, and for today we're going to be field stripping my Remington R51 pistol. I have done a full review on this, where I shot 500 rounds through it in one day, and yeah, it didn't go so well. It actually had a lot of malfunctions. We discovered it wouldn't take steel. It really only likes defensive ammo, and it really wasn't the most fun review I've ever done for TFP. But uh, thanks to Ventura Munitions for helping us out with the cost of ammo on that one. That makes shooting 500 rounds uh, with relative frequency somewhat feasible. And the R51, you know, there's so many things I like about it. It feels great. It's actually pretty ergonomic for a smallish gun. I just wish that it was a, a bit more reliable. But anyways, on with the field trip. You can see this little relief cut here in front of the slide catch notch. So pull it back and then pull out the slide catch like you would on a 1911 pistol. Now you'll notice there's some serrations on the front of the barrel. That's to help with the disassembly process. You're going to want to kind of hold the slide to the rear but maintain a grip on those serrations. It's very much like an original Model 51 in this regard. It is kind of a pain when you first start doing this, but you do get used to it uh, with some time. Now once you have that grip, you can go ahead and slide the whole slide right off the top. Now at this point the frame is done, and let's go ahead and take a look at the surface that the breech block contacts. Um, these being hesitation locked guns is actually quite interesting. I know the original Model 51's had a problem with this area getting really torn up and really chewed up, but after 500-ish rounds, this one actually looks okay, just the finish is coming off, which is to be expected. Now you notice two relief cuts on the slide to rest the recoil spring cup in. This will allow you to rest the barrel assembly and drop out the breech block. A lot of people have asked to see what this looks like so far. There's a little bit of uh, deformation, or rather kind of galling here where it contacts the slide, but nothing to get too upset about at this point. I did do a really uh, good close-up that I posted on the firearm blog, and there is a burr forming on one of the sides. Um, I'll keep you guys posted if that changes. At this point, you can pull the barrel up and out from the back, and to remove the recoil spring and the cup, kind of push it down, and then pull it up and out. Now there you go, kind of an unconventional field trip. Not a whole lot like uh, many other guns out there, aside from the original Model 51s, of course. But a little bit different uh, than something most people are used to. Since it's not a short recoil operated tilting barrel gun, a lot of people are almost put off by it. Um, if you're going to be put off by this gun, make uh, make the performance that this or my, our review and other reviews have shown uh, this gun to have or lack, however I could best put that. But... You know, I really wish these worked. They feel great. They're they're cool guns. They function like the original Model 51s. They just did not manage to cap capture the magic of the original Model 51. So, anyways, I hope to see you guys next time, and special thank you for watching.